Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you all again. It's your girl Crystal here. And in today's video, sorry about that pause. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my holiday that's coming up. Um, I know I'm in a bit of a different attire to what I'm used to, but I am, I am a, I'm kind of a girly girl, but not. I'm kind of in between because I do like wearing jeans and pants um, with a with a tint of gothic, but I also like being a girly girl without the makeup because I do want quite a lot of dresses, including my prom dress which I still have. Miraculously, let me just go and get it real quick so I can show you just how girly I really am. I don't know if you guys can see it. I still have my prom dress, which, if I can find my size, this is a size sixteen, and this came from China. I've had that dress since 2014. So that kind of proves how long, that, that proves, I am a bit of a girly girl, just without the makeup. Um, and I'm also like a tomboyish type of girl. But anyway, that's not the focus of the video. The focus of the video is the holiday. I just went off subject. Um, so I was originally going to go to um, Cos, with my family and my best friend at the time. But the government over in costs are basically been a bit complicated and saying that we're not allowed to fly over there yet. They're not they're not accepting incoming flights or outgoing flights. So we had to change our holiday to Corfu. Now during that controversy me and my me and my best friend unfortunately had a bit of a fallout. I'm not going to give any names away because I'm still trying to be civil with her because as, as an adult I have to uh, not, not be cruel but just be stern and she's, she basically said that she didn't want to come with us and she wanted the money back. Um, now, I'm not going to go too much into the full story about what happened next. But, I'll just say this one thing. We originally planned to go to Spain, me and her. But, she basically pulled out. Um, but, I'm not going to go too much into the full story about that. Because, I don't want to really put my personal life too much out there on YouTube. But, that's all I'm saying. Um... But we've now decided to go to Corfu for two weeks instead of a, instead of a month. So in my suitcase, I've had to downgrade quite a lot of things because I will take his stuff out there to last me for a month. Um, but I'll talk about my suitcase in a minute. I'm going to talk to you about what I'm going to be wearing and the hand luggage that I'll be taking. So I'm going to start off with the clothing. And I'm going to be wearing um, if I can get to it. This is the top that I'm going to be wearing with the lanyard that I have to wear on medical grounds. But this top I found really cute. Got it from Primark, really a couple of quid. And um, yeah, it's a really nice Barcelona top. I know, I know it does say, but does say Barcelona on it, but it's a really nice summer top, and it balances out equally, because I'm not wearing anything too dark over there, because I've never been to Corfu. Um, but 
because I was going to wear a vest originally, but I don't know what the temperature is going to be like over here in the UK because we'll be setting off for the airport about two o'clock in the morning. So I've got to kind of balance it out. I've got a, I've got a jacket in the dryer that I'm putting over the top, but I'll be I'll be pretty much balancing it out on the uh, on the pant wear. And the pant wear being these these denim jeans, well denim denim shorts. Again, they were bought from uh, Primark. And these all these were only like three quid. And they were size sixteen. Um, and they were really really nice shade of denim. I could have had some shorts like these before, but they were they but they became really really tight. <laughs> um, they probably should get a wash. Mm, no, no joking. I, I've been going on multiple holidays and I've been kind of get, get, gaining a few. I practically named this. <laughs> Seriously. I practically named this role here. Practically named her. This is... I've forgotten the name now. This is Rebecca. This is Rebecca right here. Um, but anyway, uh, I am losing. I have. I have lost a few. Uh, stone, stone though. Uh, and then train. I'll be wearing trainers. So my mum actually bought me some trainer socks. Um, which are kind of like unicorns. I, I absolutely love unicorns. I don't care how old you are. You can never get enough of. Um, of unicorns. I mean, my mum still watches Tom and Jerry, so. Uh, my Auntie Claire loves Tatty Teddies. My cousin loves Sonic. I love Mario and I love unicorns. And then these are the trainers that I'll, I'll be wearing. These were what my mum gave me because they were too big for her feet. And I just thought they were super cute. And super stylish as well. Because I don't, I don't. I do wear trainers, but they're like feeler ones. I normally wear feeler trainers or basketball style trainers uh, because I have a I have a little bit of a condition where my feet are kind of like flat on the ground. So a lot of the times I have to wear I have to wear these, which are inflatable braces. I don't wear them on holiday because. I don't really like my braces being shown unless I'm wearing boot cut, boot cut pants but because I'm going away without jeans without long jeans these will be left behind but these are the type of trainers I would normally wear them and also these Like the regular basketball trainers. Just so then, my uh, braces are kind of hidden. But they're inflatable ones, so they pump up. Okay. And the hat I'll be wearing is this. Which I bought from Pratara Cyprus. I thought it was super cute. Nice, nice hot pink with black in there with the uh, with the religious cross because even though I was never christened I've never been to a church apart from seeing a blessing in Scotland <clears throat> I do consider myself to be a Christian because I am a true believer of uh, of the man upstairs <clears throat> not only that but my grandma was religious and she believed that her soul would be carried on after she passed away in which she passed away a couple of years ago I still have a photograph of her. <clears throat> and then these are the sunglasses that I'll be wearing. They're the only ones I have. I'll be buying a, I'll be buying a couple more pairs when I'm out when I'm out in Corfu. <clears throat> um and now we're gonna go on to my hand luggage. So first things first, I do like to read a lot. And um, this is a book that was given to me by my no longer best friend. Um, it's basically it's basically a book of the live action film Dumbo. 
uh, directed by the man himself, Tim Burton. And uh, one of my favourite actors is in here. Where is he? There he is. Danny DeVito. It was in Matilda, uh, the the Disney Hercules. Is it? Is in a lot of them. He's such a classic guy, is Danny DeVito. Is is one that I definitely would love to meet. So I bought these, which I thought were absolutely adorable. Millions magic straws, because I do drink. I do drink a lot of milk, but. I'm not, let's just say, I've not been well known for obtaining dairy within my system. Uh, so I have to be careful about how much milk I drink. But, I think, I think, I think these really need to go in the suitcase more than anything. But, they're really, really cute. I bought some blueberry ones, which I've given to my cousin. Uh, because they look a little blue when he loves blue. And I, I do like pink. I do like pink sometimes, um, but this this is my hand luggage bag. This is this is the bag that my mum bought for me in Spain in two thousand and fifteen. Because I bought a I bought a red bag that was that was the same size as this in a souvenir shop, but when it came to my second day at the Port Adventure theme park, which I'll be going to next year, the bag broke. So when I when I got back to the hotel, which was the Sun Club in Capsaloon, I emptied my bag and threw it away. So the next day my mum and Claire went to the main saloon centre and got me this bag. And I've been using it since then because it fits my A3 folders in perfectly for college. So are we taking this as well? Even though I have no idea how to work it. My mum and Claire surprised me last week with my own GoPro. It's something I've been after for a long time because I want to promote my YouTube videos better than recording on my phone, which is what I'm recording off now. So I was really surprised when they got me a GoPro for my own. But the only thing is, I don't know how it works. So if you guys know how this GoPro works, please let me know and give me a and send me a tutorial, please. <laughs> and then of course I've got like my standard wallet. Um, I don't really own purses because I don't really. I'm not really into that. I'm not really a girl who likes purses. I'm just into like standard wallets and that. So in here I've got like my lab, my library card, my bank card, and a couple of amiibo cards. Wario horse riding and Waluigi soccer for Mario Sports superstars. Um, I'm taking this because. So sometimes there's going to be some shops that don't accept the card, so I'll be I'll be drawing some money out, some euros out, and putting putting it in there. Uh, plus, I'll need someone to put my bank card as well. And then I do like to keep journals in that. So uh, yesterday I did like a big shop and. Well, not a big shop, but but a decent a decent shop. And I bought this from Wilco for a quid. Well, for a pound. Sorry, um, I've got my own little sort of action accent and slangs. Um, got this for a pound, and it's something for me to just like keep journals and that. Because I do have a sketchbook which I've been drawing in to do some montages and that, but. I've had to pack that away because if I draw in it anymore, then I'm not gonna have any pages left. So I've got that to do some do to do some writing on the plane and to do like a little journal of my holidays, both in in Corfu and in Spain. And then I do watch a lot of DVDs when I'm away, so. I got this from Burnley Buy and Sell, which is, I don't think it's flat, I need to get that charged, that's okay. 
I got this from somebody off Burnley Buy and Sell. They were selling it pretty cheap for a tenner, so I, I use I automatically picked it up. So I've got that, and of course I've got DVDs to go with it. Um, I've got a DVD in here already, which is um, Judy, the uh, story of Judy Garland from The Wizard of Oz to her final performance before she died. And in here, DVDs I've got in here are Frozen 2, uh, The Wizard of Oz, the 1939 version, uh, Super Mario Bros. Super Show DVDs, Oz the Great and Powerful, the Twilight Saga, uh, Breaking Dawn Part 1, the London 2012 Olympic Games um, opening ceremony and closing ceremony, uh, My Little Pony Equestria Girls of Friendship Games and Egyptian Ancient Egyptians uh, Imhotep using the picture of Boris Karloff as the mummy Imhotep. And lastly, I got some uh, Harry Ball Gold Bears. I am I am growing off boiled sweets a little bit, but there is one type of boiled sweet that that I'll never get enough of. It's Harry Ball Gold Bears. They say you have to eat some boiled sweets in order for your ears to pop. The only time my ears popped is when I went to New York last year. And that was like my seventh holiday, I think. It was one of them anyway. But I was already a, I was already a frequent flyer by then. And then obviously I'll be taking my headphones. Taking my headphones, which are down here. Um, these do run off Bluetooth. But because we're not allowed to use Bluetooth on the plane, because we have to put it in flight safe mode, I got myself a little cable where I can attach my headphones to my DVD player and also my headphones to my uh, phone so I can listen to some music if that dies on me, which I've got a feeling it will do. And that's it for my hand luggage. Now I'm going to talk to you briefly about my uh, suitcase and what I have in there. Um. So in my suitcase I've got about three sets of PJs which are like a, sep a separate stitch PJ set which I found super cute which I got from Primark. I have a stitch nightdress which my uh, no longer best friend bought for me. And then I have a nightdress that looks like this. Bear with me one second, because I wore it last night. Um, I have a nightdress that looks like this, only it's pink. I want to take bright colours with me, so I'm leaving this one behind, and, and then the other one I've packed. I've got a swimming costume that my friend at the time bought me. Um, in which I, I had to buy some undershorts. Um, I've got about uh, seven different tops, uh, five different pant wears, including the ones I'm travelling out in, um, three pairs of shoes, and I've also packed in my Waluigi cushion, because, oh I forgot to mention about my hand luggage as well, um, Alright, let me just go back to my hand luggage for just one moment. Um, I also, with myself and Ryan, we always pack um, plushies in our, in our hand luggages, just as a comfort moral. So, he packs Sonic the Hedgehog and Princess Celestia. And I pack some of my Mario plushies. But the ones that I'm taking with me this time are... Mario and Princess Peach. I normally take Waluigi with me, but he's too fragile. He does mean a lot to me. 
Plus, I, um, I've got a big Waluigi cushion in my suitcase. Um, I've got a washing basket. I've got some food. And some shampoo. Which is this. I've got about two lots out. Because... I do like green tea shampoo, it really does something good for your hair. Um, I originally packed two, but because I'm only going away for two weeks now, I've, t I've taken that one out. Plus, all this, guys, all this is coming off. Yeah, it's literally all coming off because it's drove me crazy during quarantine. I'm going to get it cut right back. But I'll also be getting it coloured as well. I will keep you guys informed. It's a different colour to what I'm used to. Because um, I do, I can be crazy sometimes. I think the last time I had it crazy was when I dyed it red. Same colour as my shoes that I'm travelling out in. But I did buy some colour shampoo. Just so then um, I can guarantee the colour will stay locked in. And this is the sort of food that I packed in. Got some mug shots. And I even packed in some special edition Christmas dinner type ones. Ones that taste like a Christmas dinner. I know it's like I know it's like July, but it's like they taste amazing. Well, these ones I've got like a cre creamy cheese and chicken and mushroom. And then, of course, uh, we've got some weighing scales because we have to always check the weight of our stuff. Because uh, we're flying with Tui. Originally, we had 15 kilos. But we got upgraded to 20 because we'll be bringing a lot of stuff back. For me, for me and my mum, we are fridge magnet obsessed. Um, I recently got a fridge in my bedroom, so, and in a couple of years I'll be moving out, so I want to decorate my fridge while I've got it here because I'll be leaving this here behind. I'll be leaving this behind because uh, my room's going to get turned into a games room, because with it being so big. So I've said I'm going to leave my fridge here and buy another one when I move out. Look, I'll just quickly show you. Can get this one off. Bear with me one second, guys. God, that was good deal. I'm just gonna. Sh I'm gonna quickly show you what fridge magnets I actually have. I only have three. Um, because the other ones are downstairs, in my other fridge. But when I went to New York, my mum asked me to pick up a couple of fridge magnets. Um, I picked up some acrylic ones, um, because they were more, they seemed more decorative. <clears throat> so I bought this one, I bought a Empire State one, and uh, a standard fridge magnet that said uh, New York on it with the Statue of Liberty and some skyscrapers on, on an apple, basically. <clears throat> I kept this one because, you know, because I, I thought it looked nicer. <clears throat> then this is the fridge magnets that I didn't buy, but it was actually given to me for free by a guy in a gift shop who said I looked like that woman. He was well flirting with me, but I'm already taken. I've already found my love of my life. Which I'm not going to put any names out there because he's not really a YouTuber. Um, and he wished, to keep, he, he wished to be kept private so I've got to respect him. And lastly, this. This wasn't bought. This is actually a picture of me at my uh, Leavers Assembly at uh, Holly Grove. I think back in 2009. I've had this for 11 years. <clears throat> it 
it's been 11 years since I left, well, I left Holly Grove. Um, originally it was like two shades of pink, but I recently decorated it to make it more Mario-esque. Mario, Luigi, Wario, Waluigi. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, all the things that will be going in this hand luggage nearer to the town will be a couple of sandwiches um, and drinks when I get to the airport because obviously I'm not allowed to carry drinks through security for some strange reason. <clears throat> but sandwiches I'll be buying a day before. Well, on the actual, well, closer to the time anyway. Um, so I'm going to leave it here, guys. If you stayed throughout the entire video, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel because I will be putting up more content. I really want to promote my channel the best I can. I am aiming to try and get about a thousand subscribers. If I get a thousand, I'll be really happy. I'm going to do something really special for that. Tell you what, if I get to, to 1,000 subscribers, I will dye my hair the brightest pink I can find. I will do that. Um, well, it depends really. <laughs> I've got to be careful of college, but... I will do something really special if I get to 1,000 followers. 1,000 subscribers. So again, I'm going to leave it here. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel for, for even more content. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.